It is very common for extensions to use settings, either as a mechanism for storing data internally, or for allowing users to change some of these settings to better meet their needs. Either way, the implementation is the same. So let's take a look at how to add settings to an extension. We're going to start by right-clicking the project node and select Add New Item. From here, we're going to navigate to the Extensibility category and select Options page. And we're going to give it a name, in this case, General, which is the default. That will create general.cs inside a folder called Options. It contains two classes, the second of which is called General, and that is our Options class. So for this sample, we're going to create an option to determine whether or not to use uppercase when we insert the GUID as part of our extension. So I'm just going to update the text and the type as if it was any other property. I'm also going to change some of the metadata, and the metadata is contained within attributes on top of each property. So I'm going to give it a display name, and then a description that explains to people what this property is for. And you can be very precise here, and that will help out people better understand. We're going to set a default value, and make sure that that default value is also accurately uh, reflected on the property itself, like it is right here. It's now time for us to consume this new setting in our code. So we're going to navigate to our command class, and start by getting an instance of the general settings class. So those APIs are async, so I'm going to await general.getLiveInstance async. And now I can simply query my properties located on the options class, like right here. So I'm testing for whether use uppercase is set to true, and if it is, I'm going to change the GUID here to be uppercase. We now have settings that we can use internally in our extension to persist between instances of Visual Studio. But now we need to make sure that the user can also modify those settings. So if we go back to general.cs, we can see that we get a few lines of code here that we can copy and paste into our package class. These are two attributes that registers our settings class as tools, options, pages. All I have to do is to modify the names to match that of my extension. So now that we're done implementing our settings, it's time to build and run our extension in the experimental instance of Visual Studio. Let's open a code file and just insert a GUID just to make sure that everything still works as it did before. And we can see we get a lowercase GUID. Now let's open Tools Options and find our newly created options page called Insert GUID. Here you can see the category, the display text, and the description all coming in. And I can now, as a user, change the value to true. And if we go back and run the command again to insert a GUID, we can see that the changes have taken effect, the settings are applied, and we get an uppercase GUID inserted. You can have as many options classes as you'd like in your extension, and you decide which ones to expose to the user through the Tools Options menu by only copying those attributes over to the package class that you want. There's a lot more to explore when it comes to settings and options. How to dynamically update the values and save them, or listen to events on when they change. It's all exposed through the API, and very simple to get started with. So go try it out. Enjoy.